Team Jackson, what's happening? So I've gotten this question quite a few times over the last couple of years. I always answered the same, never felt like it was really worthy of a whole video, but we're going to talk about it today. The question is, D, how do I make a man miss me or, you know, really just regret letting me walk away or dumping me? Right, and my answer is the same every single time. Just invest energy into yourself. Stop focusing on that. Let it go. Walk away. Blah, blah, blah. Right. But if you have to get something off your chest, like if you if you just have something on your chest, it's spiteful, it's petty or whatever it is that you want to call it. And you have to get it off your chest. I would rather you take that route as opposed to seeking out revenge. And if you're going to take that route, there is a right way to do it. There are things that you can do that guarantee that a man will regret whatever it was that y'all had and letting that go. All right. Again, this ain't my preference, but this is how you go about it. The first thing you got to do, there's five steps. The first thing you got to do is let him have the last word. In that conversation before things are finally done, let him have the last word. Let him get his emotions out. And at that moment, you display a level of emotional discipline that maybe he's not even used to or even thought you were capable of. See, the thing is, you want him to be curious about how you feel. And if he had the last word, I don't care what it was, because I bet you if, if he does have the last word, you stop talking to him, you stop texting him back, or you hang up the phone, he's going to say something else because he wants you to have the last word. That way he can know how you feel. That way he doesn't have to fight his curiosity, which is one of our biggest enemies whenever we let a good woman go. But if you let him have the last word, he's going to say some shit like, see, you never loved me in the first place. I could tell. Or, I always knew you was cheating on me anyway. You just like everybody else. You told me you would never do this, but you're doing it just like everybody else. you leaving me hanging. You ain't never cared from the beginning. He going to say something that's supposed to trigger you. No matter what it is, if you know this is it, you know that it's over with, you have to let him have the last word. But that only counts if you do the second part. The second part is cutting him off cold turkey. Cold, ice cold, igloo, North Pole, Santa, all that. Cold, ice cold. That means your friends got to be on board. Your family got to be on board. Uh, you ain't not only just not fucking him. You're not talking to him. You're not answering his text. You're not even reading his text. Like if y'all, I know Apple iPhone users, y'all got that read receipt shit. No, you can't be receiving anything from him. Snaps, DMs, nothing. He has to totally lose access to you. And again, get your friends on board because once you do that, he's going to be talking to them, trying to send messages to you, ask and analyze what it is that's on your mind. Let me tell you how serious this curiosity thing is with a man once we walk away from a relationship. Y'all remember Martin? Whenever Martin used to read too much into something that Gina said or did, and then she'll go to work or she'll go out with her friends or away for a weekend or something like that, it'll eat him up so bad. He'll show up to her job or wherever she's at, wilding the fuck out. The reason why is because in real life, our curiosity does work like that. It will eat us up. So we do all kinds of stuff to try to try to relieve ourselves of that curiosity. We'll be hitting you up. We want to have some kind of control, some kind of access. We'll hit your friends up. We'll lurk on your social media profiles. So you have to use that to your advantage and cut him off completely cold turkey. Now that goes into number three. When you're online, you cannot be sending sub messages to him about him, about your relationship. That means no posting my quotes. That means no posting eHarmony blogs. That means no videos. I wouldn't even like videos and shit like that. Like no sharing or no none of that. If you want him to be wondering how you feel, you cannot give him inklings or clues about how you feel about the relationship. Again, he has to totally be in the dark about how you feel about everything and that it went away. Because guess what a man wants to tell himself after the relationship is over? Yeah, she's still stressed. She's still in love with me. If I wanted her back, I could have her. But if he's totally in the dark about how you feel, he can never tell himself that and actually believe it. The fourth thing that you need to do is, I would say this doesn't really compromise the curiosity thing. Really, it actually probably emboldens it. But you need to be hanging with your single friends out in public. Not at the house, not eating bonbons, not none of that. No Netflix, none of that. You need to be out and about. Even if you don't do clubs, make an exception. Be somewhere where other single guys would be able to see you too. Because one thing we know about girls and their single friends is that when one of their newly single friends becomes single, their first choice as a remedy is to get a guy in her face, to find a replacement. Hell, the friend probably didn't like the dude, no way. Damn sure don't like him after uh, the newly single friend tells what happened in the relationship. 
So we know that if you out with your friends, not only do you have moral support, so you ain't really tripping and crying and all of that, but you also around some other eligible bachelors and probably got wing girls sending them your way. Matter of fact, I would say go so far as if you're going to post anything on social media, make sure other dudes are in the picture. If it's you and your three homegirls, so it's four of y'all, you need to be four dudes in the picture. Y'all need to take a group picture because guess what's going through a man's mind? One of them is for that girl. One of them is for the girl that I, I don't know anything about how she feels about the relationship and she ain't putting nothing on social media. She's not weak. She's not breaking down. She's not crying about it. She's not letting me talk to her. Clearly, she done moved on. All right. The fifth thing you can do to really top all of this off is look good. You got to look good. Don't like do nothing out of character look good. Don't be like extra thirsty because again, that's going to backfire. He's going to be like, oh, look at her trying to get my attention. She's trying too hard. She looked crazy. No, but that dress, that hairstyle that you get and that you know you look good in, that makeup, get, get whatever friend that you got, that watch all them YouTube tutorials about how to contour and blend and all that, like get her to do your makeup. Like that needs to be the next couple of visuals that goes on social media of you looking good as hell, you out in public with your friends, having a good time, and he cannot get in touch with you. That is how you make a man regret losing you or letting you walk away. So, y'all let me know what you think in the comments. Of course, if you like free stuff, just check out the caption. I'll holler at y'all later. It's been real. Peace.